Courage doesn't mean you don't get afraid. Courage means you don't let fear stop you. I don't need easy, I just need possible. People can do whatever they want if they just set their heart to it, and just never give up, and just go out there and do it. Life is a lot like surfing. When you get caught in the impact zone, you've got to just get back up. Because you never know what may be over the next wave. Love is bigger than any tidal wave or fear. Life is full of what I affess. You can't let it hold you back. If you do, you're not really living at all, just kind of going through the motions with no meaning. Courage, sacrifice, determination, commitment, toughness, heart, talent, guts. That's what little girls are made of the heck with sugar and spice. We all go through rough times. We have those obstacles that seem too large to overcome or that current that you never seem to swim out of. We have to decide what matters most to us, our passions. I wouldn't change what happened to me because then I wouldn't have this chance, in front of all of you, to embrace more people than I ever could have with two arms. God has a lot more to give and to offer than the world has to give. You don't need easy. You just need possible. I don't really want people looking to me for inspiration. I just want to be a sign along the way that points toward heaven. Compassion can drive us to do amazing things and give us perspective. My strength came from my relationship with Christ and from the love and encouragement of my family and friends. I guess I just like to challenge myself and push myself harder to do things that I don't think I can, to do things that other people do not think I can. It pushes me. I push my own personal limits. I think passion is something that's more powerful than even love. It's something that you're not willing to let go of, and you'll work really hard to make sure that stays a part of your life. I don't want easy, just possible. God will give us the strength to be able to handle things. I mean, you can try to do it on your own, and sometimes you can pull off some stuff, but in the long run, it's much easier with him by our side. I can't change it, that was God's plan for my life and I'm going to go with it. I could never have embraced this many people with two arms. I believe in Jesus Christ, and I believe he gave me the passion and determination to continue surfing. You fall off the horse, and you get back on. I had to go for it. Fear is something that can really hold us all back from different things in life. It's important to notice what your fears are and try to conquer them. Strive to find things to be thankful for and just look for the good in who you are. Your looks do not define who you are. Love is bigger than a tsunami, stronger than any fear. There's no such thing as a handicap, it's all in your head. None of us are going to have perfect lives. Our own vision of what we think is good may be different from what he, God, thinks. And we forget that. We think we know what's best and we don't. Love God, love others, do your best in all you do, even if you fall short. I'm just waiting for God to tell me what to do, but whatever it is, I want to be doing something like I am doing now serving God and helping people. It's sad to hear that one in three girls have an eating disorder, because they're trying to be something that they think they need to be, when it's such a lie that they believe. Meanwhile all over the world there's people that are starving or dying of something crazy that we forget, and we think we're the only ones in this world. It was what God had taught me growing up that helped me overcome my fear and get back on the board. Be strong and courageous. Do not be terrified, do not be discouraged, 
for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Joshua 1 verse 9. My faith in God is a huge part of my life, and yes he has blessed me with an amazing family, and group of friends. In the Bible he tells us to think positively about ourselves, to not be down on ourselves. So I just try to live the way he wants me to, and make the best decisions I can. It's been amazing to touch people's lives. I love the ocean, and I love surfing. It's something so special and unique, and surfing is unlike any other sport. Skateboarding is amazing, you get the adrenaline rush, but you don't get the feel of the ocean, of doing its own thing. Totally surrounding you. Definitely a unique thing, it's a blessing, and a huge part of my healing process I would say. Being creative on the waves is challenging, but we each create art in our own way. It's easy to look at the things of this world to solve our challenges and obstacles in life, but when we submit our lives to Christ, His grace, mercy, peace, and love will bring true fulfillment to our lives. I believe in God. Nobody made me believe, I don't think you can or should try to force someone to believe something. And even though my parents taught me stuff about God and read Bible stories to me from as early as I can remember, it was my choice to become a believer in Him. The way I see it, putting our faith in God is something that each person has to come to on his or her own. It's your own personal relationship with Him, a bond that's as unique as a fingerprint. It's hard for me to describe the joy I felt after I stood up and rode waving for the first time after the attack. I was incredibly thankful and happy inside. The tiny bit of doubt that would sometimes tell me you'll never surf again was gone in one wave. Besides surfing, I play tennis, volleyball, I swim, I run hills, or I do high-intensity, high-interval workouts. I'm up at 5 a.m. every day. My only real fear was that I would not be able to surf again because I was concerned that I would not physically be able to do it. I knew that if I wasn't able to surf then my life would really change. Our health and well-being is something that we can almost control, to a certain extent. We can choose to eat healthy, we can choose to think positively, and we can choose to have good posture. All this stuff makes a difference, and the way that you look and feel, and your confidence. The media can be challenging, but at the same time, without the media, I would not have been able to share my personal story. Often the media can bring beauty and encouragement to people's lives. Like, with one arm I know I can surf, but competitive surfing can be really frustrating, and sometimes you don't do as well as you want to. It can be discouraging at times. But whenever I do get frustrated, I just focus on God. Learning how to deal with people and their reactions to my life is one of the most challenging things. People staring at me, people asking rude questions, dealing with media, stuff like that. The end is just the beginning. When I was about five, I gave my heart to Jesus Christ, and since then it's just been a stronghold in my life. Really, through the shark attack and all the hard times that my family and I went through, it gave us unity and perseverance to push through all this crazy stuff that we never knew was going to happen. The biggest lesson I've got is, learning to have patience with people, just take it one step at a time in everything that you're doing and just invest time in the people that you're with. Have patience with them, even if they're not necessarily the easiest person to work with. Losing an arm is kind of lame at one point, but at the same time, so much good has come out of it. That's really what ultimately matters, the emotions and feelings that you experienced and people around, whom, you experienced, them. Being able to turn to Jesus after the shark attack kept me alive. God created the heavens and the earth, the oceans, and the waves for our enjoyment. Surfing is just my way of worshipping Him. 
I just try to be myself and not conform to something I'm not and just continue doing what I do. I just try not to think about the fact that I'm an inspiration for people. I enjoy hanging out with friends, going on hikes, and playing tennis. I also enjoy Bible study and making dinners. I have a pretty mellow life away from the water. I gave my heart to Jesus when I was five years old and since then it's been a special relationship. To me it's not a religion, it's just talking to God, reading his word, and doing my best to honor him in everything I do. I think it doesn't matter if you are the best surfer in the world. I'm going to try to be the best surfer I can be. It's not all about competing and being the best. It's more about having fun and just doing what you love. In the end, my love for surfing helped me overcome my fear of sharks. Surfing for me is more than my lifestyle, it's my passion, my love and it's a part of me. The author describes how impressed she was with the detailed storyboards that outlined her movie, not just sketches, but real art. She then describes a Hawaiian sunset as, God painting his storyboard on the sky. You fall off the horse and you get back on. Which quote did you like the most? Share your opinion in the comments below. Subscribe and don't miss out the chance to see the next video.